Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, we are going to attempt to do a little bit of night fishing this evening and uh, see if we can't land some nice flatheads. I found me a nice little hole that's got some fish in it and we're going to set up on them with the anchor. We've got a little bit of current. But after it gets dark, I'm going to try to uh, get up real shallow on the banks and uh, see what we can come up with. A lot of times at night they'll leave these holes and go up in their feeding areas. And that's what I'm hoping to find tonight. So stay tuned. We come through a pretty nice storm. Uh, but uh, we got to our destination here and it seems to be calm. A little bit of sun shining over there. And the weatherman says it's uh, just supposed to be partly cloudy tonight from here on out. So uh, hopefully we don't get wet, but we've got this top, so uh, I think we're going to be all right. All right, tonight I'm just going to use a basic Carolina rig. We're using uh, a little lighter sinkers than I normally do. I'm using threes uh, just because I'm not doing any drifting. I like the eights when I'm drifting to keep the baits down where I'm at, but uh, three is enough to hold what I need to do here in this, this type of current. And sometimes that'll make a little difference. If you got a real heavy weight on it, the fish could could uh, feel that if he's real finicky biting. But when they're aggressive and they just take it, they don't pay no attention to that eight ounce sinker. All right, our first spot didn't pan out. We was in the deepest water around, but I think since it's gotten dark, uh, the fish are kind of scattering out of them holes and going to the feeding grounds. We have actually uh, moved into the bank just a little bit. Instead of being over in that 30 foot of water, now we're in like the 22. Oh, there we go. Look at here. So we moved up out of that hole a little bit. And we found this one. He's a pretty decent one. We are in some current though, which sometimes will make a 10 pounder feel like a 20 pounder. But I believe this one's got a little, a little something to him. I like it when that pole bends like that. They just go. You ain't gotta mess with them. I believe he's got a little bit of weight on him. Yeah, he might not be as big as I think he is. I don't know, he's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, we'll take him, for sure. fish of the night. There we go. <coughs> Alright. First fish of the night. I hope that's a good indication of how the night's gonna go. If they if we quit biting here, we'll move a little farther up on the bank. Let's let him go. There 
we go. Let's light on another one. That was fun. All right, I got one working with it a little bit. We're being real finicky. But that's where I, I like the, the three ounce sinkers instead of the eight ounce sinkers. If he's being a little, little finicky about it, he's less apt to fill that three ounce than he is. Oh, another one. Yeah, that wasn't even the one we was looking at. We got another one, a little bite over there. This one here, he's swimming towards the boat. He's going under the boat. Oh. He's trying to go under the boat. Oh, he's got a little, he's got a little something to him too. I believe it's another blue. Getting closer. He ain't as big as that first one. Oh, we got some action. Oh yeah. Get mean with it. Oh, he ain't done. Ain't done. There he is. All right, it's a little tough to do in that current. Second one about 10 minutes. Nice healthy fish. I'm hoping the flatheads will turn on here soon. Let's get him out of here. Ow! All right. He gave me a what for just as I turned him loose. He cramped down on my finger, my thumb. Got a little bloody here. He didn't like me, but he liked my bait. Okay. Oh, look. Another one. Wow. That's three right in a row. Oh. Yeah, I pulled up out of that hole. Got up on this ledge a little bit more. And uh, boom, they're there. So they're just gradually moving up towards the bank. When they stop biting here, I'll move up one more time. See if we can't chase these fish. Well, I hope the rain is gone. We got the moon out, which is a good thing for a minute. Here he comes. I got color back there. He's a pretty nice one. I'll take him. Yeah, we got some color. What a day, what a day. That's a four pounder right there, probably. Right in that net, there we go. All right. Got two rods in the boat, no bait on them. Yep. I'll say he go 40. Ah, there's a real nice 
this one. Nighttime action on the Tennessee River. What is it? Don't tell your buddies. Tell them there's a party up here. That's some fast action right there. I'm gonna get these two back out. See if we can do it some more. What a night so far. What a night. Throwing fit fresh skipjack, cutting it in chunks. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Just real simple. He was up way shallow. Well, probably in about 18 foot of water. But got one coming on here. Again. Is that a third one? He's been doing that for quite some time though. Alright, looks like I got a few bugs coming out, but you know, I don't mind the bugs as long as I can see my surroundings while I'm fishing. That's one of the reasons I got this boat to light it up. Well, I don't know what that is. Might just be the current. Being finicky. Uh oh. I didn't tuck it. Oh, he's swimming with it. He was swimming with it. That was probably a flathead. Well, action, guys. All right, guys, after that uh, little chaos we had a while ago, I've sat here for another 30 minutes and not caught a thing. So what I'm gonna do is uh, reel everything in. I'm gonna move in towards the bank a little farther, pitch them out again and see where it's at. I'm, I'm certain I'm going to end up on the bank sometime tonight but I'm just going to keep working them out these blues I caught must have just been we must have caught them off at the pass as they were coming out of this hole to feed so uh, we're going to reel them in and, and move I'll be right back with you alright guys we're getting set up over here on the, the bank I, I decided to come on over here in the shallow water it's been dark long enough that they probably come out of these holes so uh, as you can see we're, we're pretty close to the bank I'd say 50 feet or so sitting in the boat is sitting in 15 foot of water we're gonna be throwing in probably five to seven foot of water on this side and probably 15 to 20 on this side uh, if I got something going on already you know there's an age-old method to catching catfish that's been around for years used to be called bank polling uh, 
uh, limb lines where, where anglers will stab cane poles with baited uh, hooks along the bank and catch huge catfish. Another technique is limb line and hanging, hanging the line from a limb next to the bank and all these techniques catch huge fish. Uh, I was going to throw a, some bobbers on them tonight but there's too much current and I just won't be able to uh, keep up with them so like I say night time these fish are on the prowl they're going to come up here in this shallow water and uh, hopefully I'll show you a big flathead I, I'll take a blue whatever action is action so we will wait and see uh, my buddies the mud bums uh, they've kind of made their niche with what they're calling a ditty pole but yeah, the mud bum guys has a, has a similar concept. It's a it's something that you want to come get and and take home with you because uh, you know I, I I'm not sure about the price, but you know an old cane pole jabbed in the bank. A lot of times, fellas won't come back and get it, which is wrong. Uh, but with these uh, new ditty poles, I guess they're calling them, uh, which is a, a real cool uh, kind of like a cane pole, but it's a plastic type deal that you stick your your line and hook down into it. Uh, you beat it into the bank and uh, unscrew the cap, all your line and hooks and everything comes out of it, you bait it up. They catch huge fish like that. So the name brand of them is Hog Logs, uh, spelled H-A-W-G, and like I say, they, they catch huge catfish on them. So uh, check them out if you get a chance. Uh, the theory is there. Let's see if we can make it happen. Quite a few of them. Feels like he might be pretty good. Yeah, I'll be taking some drag. <coughs> Coming to the boat. Flathead. Little flathead. He's all right. He's pretty decent size. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, he's pretty. Look, I got one right there. He's taking drag too. He's running. This is a good one here. He was running. Oh, yeah. He's looking it easy on me. motor. I can't let him get in that motor. Alright, where's he at? Oh, he's still trying to get in that motor. Hang 
on, buddy. I'll get you back in a minute. I'm going to get your brother in here. Yeah, he's swimming up the river. Ain't a whole lot I can do. Oh. Yeah. He's just swimming up river. What's it gonna be? He's gonna be big, whatever he is. But is it gonna be a flathead or a blue? Flathead or a blue? <laughs> he just, he's leaving again. Oh! Oh, he's left. He's left the building. I believe he's going to be a pretty good one. He took everything I had. I had him up here under the boat. But he took off again. This one here is going to be pretty big. I hope I don't get no bites on these while I'm fighting this one, because this one's going to take a minute. This one's going to take a minute. Well... Oh, he's going under my motor. Yeah. Well, this is giving me a tussle. Let's see if I can gain some ground. I ain't gaining no ground. I ain't gaining no ground with this one. He's gonna take off again. Uh oh, we got a little ground there, maybe. Here he comes. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, he's gonna go again. Monster rods, I love this thing, look at it. It's handling it. I can't get nothing out of him. Going up river, I can't stop him. This is a real fight here, fellas. This is a real fight right here. I think he's coming up. I've said that twice already and he takes it right back out. He's coming up now. Oh, he's behind the boat. There he is. Oh, it's a nice flathead. Oh yeah. Nice flathead. Oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. Let's see if I can get him headed in this net.
Come on up here, buddy. Come on up here. I might as well try to tip him quickly here. Tussle he had gave me. Oh. This fish is pretty daggone big, fellas. I hope I can get him in my in the boat. Can't get him in the boat. Oh, he's in now. Woo. Oh. He's in now. what he's gonna weigh. It's hard to say. Well, whew. oh man, let's put this back in there. Oh, well, he's a pretty fish, though, man. I got it. Pretty fish. He's gonna go. Is he going? Yep, he's gone. He's gone. You know what? I seen some guys up yonder. I bet they got some scales. I would just like to see what that weighs. <coughs> Let's see if they might help us out. I'm about out of bait. We're gonna cost me fish tonight. I got all kind of video. 
Yeah, I know. That's just like we got so much stuff to edit through. It's like we could have, an, like you said last time you're down here, you could have an hour and a half episode if you want to. Yeah. This has been on fire. How's this work? You put him in here. That's all you got to do. I don't really have a stick to. That way. I can't see it, but we'll try it. Sixty-two pounds. Oh, no kidding. I'd have thought he'd been bigger than that. It's a toad. Yeah, he is a toad. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, he was a fight too, man. <laughs> he was a fight. They've been hammering this night. Yeah. There hasn't been many soft bites. I mean, it's just straight laying over. God, that's a beautiful flathead. Yeah, sure. Put the head on that guy. Whew. All right. Good Lord. Let's get him back in the water. Oh. All right, let's put him in the water. Thank you, fellas. Yep. Hey, not a problem. You don't mind letting him go to here, do you? There he goes. Man, what a beautiful fish. Yeah, sure was. That is a beautiful fish. We have caught fish like that all day, not quite that big. But 40s and 50s. We ain't got into the 40s yet. We've got oh, a lot of 30s. Five or six in the 30s. But uh, we've had several big takedowns here. They just ain't hanging on. Well, I went up shallow and caught a bunch of uh, big fish shallow. Tonight or during the day? It's tonight. That's what my video was about, fish these deep holes. Mm -hmm. And then as the night progresses, get up to shallow. And I, we caught a good 50 pounder. And the camera was fuzzing and I did something to the camera. And I stood here and talked about it. And she didn't get none of it. It ain't her fault, but right. the camera didn't work. You just anchoring up? Uh huh. You just anchor fishing? Spot yeah, I'm, spot, I'm, I'm using my spot lock. Okay. I ain't throwing that anchor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had doubles, triples. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think we're going to call it a day. I'd love to stay out here and catch some more, man, but I don't know how many more I can catch. <laughs> I ain't got no more video. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fellas, I guess we'll let you go. All I right. appreciate it. Yep. Ain't no problem. When are you heading back home tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah, I'll go back to the hotel tonight. We might leave tonight, but I'm going to go give me a couple hours of sleep. Yeah, yep. I'm glad we decided to come up here today. Yeah, it's been a good day. And I'd say, and I, we caught all, all them fish yesterday before lunchtime. It was. Oh, yeah, we're going to make sure we get that morning bite. Yeah. Well, good luck, fellas. I'm sure I'll see something on video. Oh yeah. Oh, you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put you on video too, Josh. Tell me what your channel is. Uh, Backwoods catfishing. Backwood catfishing. I'll be sure to uh, include that in the video. I appreciate y'all's help. All right, thanks. All right. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. All right, guys. What a fish that was. Uh, fishing at nighttime in the shallow water uh, kind of pays off. Like I say, starting the deep holes and work your way up the edges. Uh, during the night and uh, good things will pay off for you all right I guess we're gonna wrap it up I appreciate everybody watching our videos if you like what you see subscribe and we'll see you in the next one